Let's be honest here for a second. Your application can do the best things, the greatest things. It will functionally do all the things that it needs to do. But if it doesn't look great, people are not going to have a great time using it. You can solve that by incorporating some animations. A very easy way to add awesome animations is by adding a Lottie library to your Xamarin.Forms application. In this episode, we are going to see how to get these Lottie files and how to incorporate them in your Xamarin.Forms application like this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. So let's talk about Lottie a little bit first. Lottie is something that is invented by Airbnb and it allows you to create cool animations like you can see this drummer right here um, and you can export them to JSON files. So that's pretty cool. You can use After Effects and some plugin called Body Movin um, to extract animations in JSON and then you can use them. You can see it here. You can use them in web, iOS, Android, Flutter, all the things basically, um, but also Xamarin. And that's what we're going to see here. We're going to use this in Xamarin forms. Um, this particular site, Lottie Files, is pretty cool. It allows you to browse all these kinds of animations. Here we see the recents, and if we go there, um, this is just from the community. People are putting their animations up here for you to use. So even if you're not familiar with um, After Effects and that kind of stuff or animations, then you can probably find a suitable animation here. Um, you can download and use that in your application. Of course, watch out for the license that is attached. Um, if you might might need to attribute the artist that created this, always give the proper credits to whoever done this. Um, so that's a little bit about Lottie. Now, um, because there is a lot of platforms that support it, there have to be different libraries, and there is one for Xamarin specifically, um, which is created by Martijn van Dijk and his company Baseflow. Um, and this library has um, bindings for iOS, Android, and also for Xamarin forms. So the repository is right here, github.com slash baseflow slash Xamarin. Um, it has all the information uh, for you to get started. It has some links to the things that I just mentioned, uh, After Effects, Body Moving. Um, so, and here are some other examples, but you know what? Let's just jump into the code and see what it's all about. So here we are in Visual Studio 2019 for Mac. Uh, I've already created a little file new application, uh, just a blank forms application. I've changed some things for the header to say Lottie animations. Um, I've added a play and a pause button that you can see here. Um, I will get to that in a little bit, but you know, just to not bore you with some um, basics right here and focus on only the animation stuff. I've added this already. Um, and here in code, you can see it's a stack layout, a frame. This is, again, this is all a file new application. And here we have a stack layout with the buttons and we are going to add the animation bits here. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your solution level and go to manage NuGet packages where we are going to install the um, Lottie forms package. And watch out, there's a couple of them. So you want to make sure that you have the, um, the form specific one. And we're going to say add package and we're going to install them on all our projects. Because if you're going to use a plugin like this, it's going to have a, a definition, an interface on the shared library, which is this one. And then it's going to have renderers for the platform specific one, um, which knows how to render the um, Lottie animations in this case on that specific platform. So also on Android and iOS, click OK. It's going to install for a little while. Uh, we even get this little readme that will help us getting started. Um, I will show you that here in this video, so we don't need that. And whenever it's done, it will open the readme for all the platforms. But whenever that's done, uh, we can just go back to our page and we can start to add the animation here. Uh, so if you have used previous versions or for some reason you have to use a older version, um, or maybe you're finding this for an older uh, project that you have or a problem that you might have, um, in, in older Xamarin forms projects, you might have to use like these uh, little init lines here. So if you are using an older version of the uh, Lottie library, you might want to do um, the animation view because that's the view that we're using to show Lottie animations, actually Lottie.forms.animation view. And it will have a init call right here. 
Um, this new version doesn't need that anymore, but if you have an older version, then you might need this. So that's something to be aware of. Um, lucky for us, this new version doesn't need that. Um, although, since we're on Android, um, while preparing this sample application on Android, I noticed that the uh, animation was not showing. And I don't know if this is a bug in the library or something else. Uh, but for Android, you want to add a specific other NuGet package, um, which is the com Airbnb Android Lottie. Uh, which is probably the um, Android specific renderers. It doesn't install this by default. I don't know why. Um, so you have to install this one um, onto your Android project manually. So if you have the problem that on only Android, your animations are not showing, this might be a cause for that. Um, also the latest version only uh, supports Android 10 and up. So if you want to support anything lower than that, um, you will have to change to a older version probably. You should check out the repository um, page to see what it supports probably. We're just going to add this package right now, wait a little bit for that to load, uh, the readme on how to use that, uh, we don't need it. And we can go back to our shared XAML page right here. So, um, here are to do, let's remove that. And we're just going to type um, Lottie. This is a namespace that we are going to add with IntelliSense a little bit. Uh, that's a shorthand for the namespace that we're going to use. And then we're going to do animation view. Let's keep it like that so that IntelliSense will kick in to help us with the rest of the stuff here. Uh, let's go over to this little light bulb and it will add this um, XML namespace Lottie forms. Uh, here on the top for us. So here you can see XML namespace Lottie and it will know where to find this specific control. Um, and now it will know this, this Lottie prefix as well. And we can start doing the rest. So I'm going to give this a name um, so we can use this for the play and the pause buttons that we see. Uh, so let's just name this Lottie. And of course we are going to use an animation. So I have already downloaded a JSON file from the Lottie files because I'm not a great animator myself. Um, I have to admit. So I've already downloaded a little JSON file and I've added it to my iOS project right here, work.json, and also to my Android project. And for the Android project, you want to add it into the assets folder. So here it is. And make sure that the build actions are um, okay. So for work.json, the build action needs to be the Android asset. Um, on Visual Studio for Windows, you need to go into the properties and you can see that build action as well and set it through there, I think. Uh, for iOS, you need to set it to um, the build action and bundle resource. That's the one that you need for iOS. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there is a way to load the animations from your shared project right here. Uh, since the animation is probably going to be the same, it would make sense to load it from your embedded resources on the shared project. Uh, but I haven't been able to find a way to do that. So that might be something, uh, a new feature that needs to be added to the library. I don't know. Uh, but at this time, the time of recording, at least it's, it's not possible to do that. So what you want to do is probably just name them the same, uh, make sure the uh, build actions are okay, and then you can just say, okay, I want to use the animation, uh, which is work.json, and it will pick it up automatically per platform, so you don't need to do anything special there. Um, so the other things that we can do, I mean, there's a lot of properties, we're not going to go through all of them. Uh, but the most important ones are probably autoplay. So whenever it's shown, it will start playing automatically. And you can also say, okay, does it need to loop? Yes or no. Uh, so then the animation will just keep looping. Uh, I think most of these animations will have support for, you know, a looping view. So it doesn't uh, really have a cutoff that you can uh, notice visually, but it will just loop through the animation. Of course, you don't have to do that. If if it's an animation that you just want to show once, um, you can do that as well. Um, I'm going to give it a width request. Whoops, loop is true. A width request and a height request. This is very, because the animations are JSON, so they scale infinitely basically like uh, SVGs, like vectors. Uh, so you want to give this a width and a height or uh, place this in a stack layout that um, fills and expands. So it just takes up all the um, room that is left. Uh, but you want to make sure if, if you're not seeing the animation, it doesn't have like a default width and height. Um, so if you can't see it in your layout, make sure to give it a width and height and play with those properties a little bit for it to, uh, to show up maybe. I'm going to make this 300 and the height too. Uh, this is a square one, so it will figure that out. And I'm going to set the vertical options. Um, I'm 
just to be sure that it shows up okay and the horizontal ones same too okay so here we go we've implemented our little animation um, let's run this on ios and see if it shows up in our simulator on the right um, it should there we go here we see a little floating person um, that is uh, typing on his laptop and you can see these bubbles going around you can see this person moving a little bit um, so that's pretty cool this is this is showing it um, so the things we didn't do yet is animate um, is implement the play and the pause button right here so let's go back stop this for a little bit and go into this um, play handler so what you can do manually if that's what you need um, we can reference this to Lottie because I set the name thing earlier and you can say okay I want this to play or in the pause handler okay I want this to um, pause um, so there's a lot of other stuff that you can use in here if we focus on the events only so you have some events um, that actually fire whenever the animation is finished or paused or played or um, it has some progress so you know um, a lot of animations might be used whenever you do a certain action um, and you maybe want to only show it once or have it animate only whenever the user clicks something or does something uh, that's all things that you can do with these events and methods that are implemented minute so um, it's pretty complete pretty powerful uh, now that we've implemented this uh, play and pause button let's switch to our um, Android emulator and see that it works there as well and here we go also on Android you can see it show up nicely so and now whenever I click the pause button you can see that it stops moving um, so it pauses just like we expected and whenever we do play again it starts playing again see so it starts working again um, so that's pretty cool that is how easy it is to implement Lottie animations into your Xamarin Forms applications there you go no more excuse why your app isn't looking fantastic with a lot of animations you can find all the sample code in my repository where this sample is um, please don't forget to like subscribe let me know if there's any other subjects that you want me to talk about and until next time